ओके सो जस्ट अ क्विक रिकैप ऑफ व्हाट एग्जैक्टली वी हैव डन टिल नाउ वी हैव स्टार्टेड ऑफ विथ द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ एस व्हाट इज एस ए पी एस फॉर हाना व्हाट इज एस एक्टिवेट वी अंडरस्टूड वॉट आर द बेसिक्स ऑफ फ्योरी एंड देन in sap sd we started understanding the enterprise structure we understood what is the purpose of sales or distribution channel division sales office sales groups and all those things which are required from the enterprise structure point of view and then from last two or three sessions we understood the important master data so we understood the material master data and we also understood the customer master data in our previous session so what are we going to do today is uh i will explain you the basic sap sd cycle okay end to end cycle and then i will try to create a, a complete sales order and then wherever required what we will do is first of all we will see the complete cycle configuring the standard settings what are there in sap and then in each and every session we will take one topic for example we can take a topic of pricing we can take a example of uh the text control the partner determinations the output determinations uh even the uh, credit management scenarios so each and every scenario we have to take in each and every session and we try to complete it so first of all the overall idea how exactly the sales process works okay what are the different stages through which the sales cycle goes okay and then we will take each and every uh aspect of the sales cycle so for example we'll start with let's say the inquiry or maybe the contract or maybe the sales order and in the sales order what are the different tabs where exactly the values are coming from what are the configurations required in order to and determine the values okay so in that way we will try to understand the end to end scenario okay so what exactly we created or maybe we will create another material master today just to make sure that uh we are using the material master which is allowing us to carry out normal sales process okay so for that purpose i'm going to transaction mm01 okay and let's assume i want to create a material which is let's say the trading material okay till now we created some raw materials and finished products but now let's assume we are just selling the trading material in the market so we are buying that material from the vendor and then we are selling that material in the market so the material let's assume the material is uh i'm just providing this as trading goods okay and material industry sector is fine i can select whatever i want so let's take a example of chemical industry itself material type normally for trading goods sap has provided the standard material type which is hawa okay so normally we use material type hawa for trading goods so i'll be using this material type if i press enter now since this is a trading good which means i'm not manufacturing it trading goods are normally purchased from the vendor and as it is with some additional margin is is sold to the customer that is the reason if you see most of the times in trading goods it will show you both it will also show you the purchasing and it will show you sales also so basic data one you can select whatever are the relevant information so in case of sales the most important information is sales of one data sales of two data sales from the particular plant okay and if you go down uh this is important general data for a plant and the storage location if you have wm component then you may need also this also okay but i think from the sales point of view these are the important tabs that we need to sell okay if you just press enter system will definitely ask you for which plant you want to create this material for which storage location for which sales organization and for which particular distribution channel so in our case our sales organization is i think it is RECH, okay, this one, and our distribution channel. If I do F4, it will show me the distribution channels for all. So if I want to see the distribution channel available for RECH, we have created this. Uh, I think we have created RECH one only, or we created multiple. Anyways, I'll just use this RECH as my distribution channel. Okay, if I press enter, system will take me to the create material screen. 
okay so i'm just providing the description which is again the same trading goods i'm providing the basic unit of measurement let's say it is each okay material group is a mandatory field so i'm just providing any particular material group that we created previously i'll go to basic data 2 if there is any field which you feel that this is in, uh, uh, important that you will fill otherwise if the field is not mandatory system will not st stop you during the transaction so you can continue pressing enter and system will take you to the next view so next one is sales view which is for the sales organization so this as i told you sales of one sales of two and general and plant these are three important segments or three important views in the material master which are mandatory to be created if you want to use this material for your sales related processes okay what will happen if you don't maintain this whenever you try to create any sales document be it a sales order or a sales contract whatever you are creating so if you create a sales order and if you try to use this material so although if the material is already created but if it is not extended to the sales areas then system will not allow you to use this particular material and that is the reason i am extending this to these three views a minute it is directly taking us to the text data that is the reason we got stuck let me come start again otherwise it will create a confusion so i'm going to mm01 once again i'm providing this trading goods enter views that are selected maybe this time i will save the views so that every time it will not ask me okay all other views are fine let me save this as default settings I'll click on enter and here I'll provide my sales stock and distribution channel. Okay, again, if I want to save, I will save it so that every time system proposes this by default. Enter. This is where I'm providing the description. This is where I'm providing the unit of measurement, material group. And as I told you, if you have any additional fields which you feel are important to maintain, you can maintain those in this master data itself. Keep on pressing enter, it will take you to the sales org level. Now you can see we are extending this material for the sales org and for this distribution channel. So again, there are few fields available here. Okay, at this moment, I will only concentrate on important fields, but later on when we see one by one scenarios, there will be some fields which are dependent on those particular scenarios. Okay, so if I press enter, now it is asking me the tax data. So I need to specify whether tax is applicable or not for this particular uh, material. Okay, so there are multiple tax conditions. I will just, as of now, I don't want to introduce tax and that is the reason I'm doing the tax classification as zero. Zero means tax is not applicable. If you see F4, there are two options, taxable under GST and GST exempted. So even this can be configured okay what are the different descriptions you want to see so earlier there was vat now there is gst so when we will see the taxation part i will explain you how exactly this can be also configured in the system as of now i'm keeping it simple i am saying there is no tax applicable neither gst nor VAT. nothing is applicable for our materials okay press enter It will take you to the next one so again press enter you can see it is taking you to the sales of two level now here you can see some of the fields which are mandatory are highlighted with this tick okay which means if you don't provide this information system will not allow you to save this particular tab okay so item category group we will discuss this what are the different item categories how we can combine them into different groups but as of now you use the item category group NORM, which is a standard one pre delivered by SAP. Okay, just press enter. It will take you to the last tab, which is sales general plans, last related to sales. Okay, so here availability check. Again, there is one important topic that we are going to discuss. Availability check means let's assume you are creating. A sales order you got an order from the customer okay and customer is asking you i want this particular material 
on this particular date okay so it is very important for you to verify whether that stock is available or not and even if it is available is it like we will be able to provide the stock on the particular date when the customer is asking okay so what system does it? when you get the order from the customer system automatically performs the check in the background and tells you whether it is practically possible to deliver this material to this customer on this particular date or not right so there is a availability material availability check which is performed by the system which will tell the tell the user who is creating the sales order whether it is possible to deliver the material to this particular customer on the requested delivery date if not system will propose the date when exactly this material would be available okay just think about this you are placing the order in the system let's say amazon flipkart you are placing the order and in amazon flipkart you are getting the option to create a order and you are providing the delivery date or maybe the system is automatically proposing you the delivery date that this material will be delivered to you on this particular date what if if that material is not delivered on time let's assume there are 2 3 days delay in the material delivery definitely your feedback to the vendor who is providing you this material would be bad okay and which is a very big risk to the company so if a customer is giving you order he is telling you i want the delivery on this date it is very important for you to verify whether it is possible or not if it is possible then only we will commit if not possible we have to propose alternate delivery date and customer has to agree it then only we will proceed with our order right so these are some important things that we will discuss in detail how the availability check takes place in sap and all so as of now i am just entering the availability check as a daily requirement okay i'll explain you what is daily requirement what is individual requirement or maybe let's go with 02 let's press another enter it is taking you to the purchasing because this is the trading good you have to purchase this first so although this purchasing information is responsibility of mmt the purchasing team is responsible to purchase this material they should fill this information but because we need to have this data available in the system so that we can carry out our sales processes that is the reason in the test system we are entering this details but otherwise practically speaking when you are working in the actual environment purchasing team is responsible to maintain this information in the system okay again purchasing team will verify what important information you need to enter so for example purchasing group is one of the important field here which requires in the purchase order so if you maintain it here itself in the purchase order this will appear automatically if you don't maintain it here in the purchase order you have to manually enter every time okay let's click on another enter now it is taking you to the plant data and the storage location data this is the responsibility of the storage or warehouse team who are responsible to specify the storage related information so if they want to maintain anything here they will maintain otherwise they will press enter you can also maintain the gross weight of the product net weight of the product so that it is available in the reporting if not this again can be entered directly during the transactions okay let's press another enter it will take you to the accounting view because we have selected it and if you remember we discussed that any material movement okay any material movement means whenever you are buying anything whenever you are selling anything if there is a material movement either the material is sent from the stock to the customer or the material is received in the stock from the vendor or even if you are issuing the material for the internal consumption it will generate the accounting impact any material movement will generate the accounting impact and in order for the accounting system to make the accounting entries one of the very important integration element is this valuation class this valuation class tells the system which gl accounts in fi will get the debit and credit postings okay and that is the reason if you don't maintain this valuation class you will not be able to do any material movements for this particular material 